All right, guys, check this out. This is the driver identification display at the Continental Tech Show 2023. This is a really cool tech with a lot of potential features that it may unlock. So basically, imagine this is your instrument cluster in front of you when you drive, and they've got a set of cameras up there to, well, basically read your face like that. So this is, you know, basically the same thing as the Apple ID camera through Face ID on your iPhones, like when you, how you unlock your phone. This is basically the same thing. If it detects that you are the right person, you are the owner of the phone, you're the owner of the car, and then it will unlock. So this gives quite a few interesting you know, use case. Uh, number one is to have user or rather face recognition. So let's say you and your wife drive the same car. So as soon as you get into the car, the car will detect that it's you or your wife and they will you know, reset all the seating positions, they will reset all your favourite radio stations so there is no longer the need to even press a button or, or you know, uh, put a fingerprint on a car or things like that. It makes it a lot more simpler, a lot more seamless as well. Well, in the future, there is going to come a time where we will get in-car payment systems, like say you get up to a drive through station, you get to a petrol station, you can pay using a simple app on your car itself. But with this feature, instead of having to enter a passcode or having to enter a password or whatever, you can just use your face to, well, authenticate your face for the payment to go through. Now, of course, that requires a high level of security and therefore, there's actually a lot of work being done in the software of this device. Like on the right over here, there is a, well, a plastic mannequin copy of the lead engineer of this system over here. They've showed me just now when he uses his real face, his actual face, the screen was unlocked, was authenticated properly. But when they use this mannequin, even though it's a direct copy, one-to-one -one copy of his actual face with his actual glasses, no less, it did not unlock um, because you can detect the camera can even detect the material on the face whether it's real human skin or you know plastic or whatever so with this mannequin there was a spoof detection i think that was really really cool then on the left you can see drowsy distracted and whatnot so this will just basically scan your face if you you know look left or look right you'll be seen as being distracted if you close your eyes too often if you just basically micro sleep even this this can easily detect that you are not paying enough attention to the road and they can ring an alarm they can uh, advise you to stop take a break and so on and then on the left you can even see that it can detect a few other things whether you're taking a phone call whether you're smoking i think it, it looks yeah it is just really high tech stuff but at the same time they've also made sure that they are using very simple very cheap components to do this device so the important things are the software stuff but the actual cameras are just super simple fairly affordable things so you won't increase the cost of your car so much like the camera for instance is a, a single a one megapixel camera and everything is in black and white 2d as well and yet it can it's all the software that enables it to detect real faces and so on i think is really good especially in europe it's going to be compulsory from 2026 onwards for all cars to have some form of driver fatigue system so yeah so this is in preparation of that hopefully we'll have a similar mandate for other markets like malaysia as well very soon when that happens yeah you'll see more and more of car makers using this feature anyway what do you think of this do you think it's cool do you think it's creepy do you think it's scary yeah let me know in the comment section below ciao